So everything that we keep in our back deck put underneath this bench. So there's our paddleboard and all of our cleaners. And then we're gonna put all these other cleaning products, tools, extra shoes, life jackets, like our extra life jackets. Our regular life jackets we keep under the helm with us or if we're cruising, they're always out. If not worn, they're always readily available and grabbable. What are you doing? Watering my plants. What do you have? Um, I have a, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it has, uh, I think it's like cranberry lettuce. It's a type of lettuce that tastes like cranberries. So it's very sour. What else? I also have a tomato plant. It, it's a lemon tomato plant. And there's only one tomato on it, so it's growing very fast. And it's making it huge. What else? Also, I have lettuce, let, lettuce and more lettuce, cilantro, green onions, uh, oregano. Arugula. Arugula. Then I'll, I also have carrots, still growing. It's kind of hard to... Get the hose all the way. <laughs> <laughs> all the way up here. So I have to spray it like this. Another zip tie. What is that, Caleb? Our bergie. What is a bergie? Uh, the flag that tells you where the wind's going. Up front. What does this one say? Eliminate. Uh, we're doing our final check for tomorrow. Got some new holes our pads. Um, checking fluids. We just checked our steering. Wasn't working last time I moved. Added fluids, bled it. So uh, it's working now. I'm just going to go ahead and top it off with pressure. Our steering system is a pressurized system. We have to keep it at about 18 to 20 PSI. Top that. So what do you have, Chase? I got the bike pump for it. So bike pump is what we use to top it up? Mm -hmm. What's on your head? So we gave these to us. What are they? Uh, Their official name is called marriage savers. Why are they marriage savers? Because well, green note. Because while you're at a boat, you don't have to scream to each So you don't have to scream to each other. I think they're supposed to be Bluetooth through your phone, aren't they? Yeah, they are. But we like to just scream at each other. Don't scream. Get your anger anger. We aggressively talk. We aggressively talk. I'm steering. When it goes that way, the rudder goes that way. When it goes this way, the rudder goes that way. What do we do? Relay. We relay. It's all the way over! Is it all the way? It's all the way over! It's all the way over! It's, it's entered! Center! Center! Yes! We always have to say it a little bit late so that. dog hot? No, it's just not padded. It's wood. <laughs> Look to the fuel pump to holler out um, gallons. 100 gallons on the... No, probably 75 actually.
So we put 80 gallons in the first tank up here. Chase so said it was here, trying to hear a bubble, right? Uh -huh. Trying not to spill any fuel. She goes from taking the fuel to, oh, I'm full, let's shoot it up this really fast, right? I think yeah. that's stupid. I think they should. They should have a better design for boats, shouldn't they? You think? At least like have uh, maybe something hanging from the end where those fit into. With all technology in the world. What are we paying for diesel here? So, um, with our boat US discount and our volume discount, I think we're paying about four twenty two a gallon. Electricity. When we left this morning, we um, did our route, figured out where we were going, and then we tried to time it for the end of the day where a marina that we could get fuel at, and then. Uh, so we just started calling around to the different areas to see what the fuel prices are. What are it was a huge range. Um, like I said, we're paying, I think, 422 I had as high as almost... What's that? 100 awesome. I had as high as um, almost $7 a gallon. And when you're going to take on probably... What are we going to take on? Probably, what's 80 times 4, boys? 160. That's times 2. There you go. So we're going to take on probably between... Three and three hundred and fifty gallons or something, would be my guess. And um, well, I think it'll be at least three hundred. Yeah, it's that much. It's just going. <laughs> yep, that's what a boat is. <laughs> this way. So I've got these boys watching the overflows with uh, one of them. with oil zorb rags. I'll swap you, Caleb. And then I got the other one up there hauling out gallons, yeah. so we know we're getting close. What's our gallons at? You want to thirty. Thank you. Two forty. Two forty. Thank you. We ended up at two eighty seven point three six gallons. Paid four dollars and thirty-two cents a gallon. Got a ten cent discount because I'm a boat US member. Total was twelve hundred and forty-one dollars and forty cents. And then we're going to go ahead and put our bio side stuff in the diesel. Uh, and then we're going to move over to the slip and we're going to stay on this marina for the night. Is the end of May, right? Last day of May. We are just leaving our marina here in Cocoa Village, up here by Cocoa Beach, Florida. We're gonna work our way south. We got um, looks like a weather window to cross over the Bahamas. Today is what Tuesday or Wednesday? What's today? Tuesday. So we've Tuesday. got two to three days to get down to Miami, and then we've got a two to three day weather window. It looks like Thursday, Friday, Saturday look like good weather to cross. So that's what we're, uh, that's our goal. That's what we're going to try and do is pick a nice weather window. Um, you got anything to add, Carter? No. You ready? No. Fun in the sun? Uh, uh. Thanks for watching. If you want to see us through the next few weeks cruising the Bahamas, come back every week to watch them. Enjoy the journey.